as a math teacher, educator, and, and professor, one of the things that I have uh, the honor of, of doing is being a, um, of a, being an instructor in the math methods class, right? So I always do a math origin story. It's those stories over these last, I don't know, I've been doing it for what, 20 years now. There are particular patterns that I find fascinating. Usually what happens is that third grade uh, is a watershed moment because uh, most of the time, if it's a, a negative situation, people can pinpoint the content. So times tables, right? And not just like having to memorize the times tables, but it's the context in which they had to do that, which was those time tests. There are some students who also, or teacher candidates who also say like, I thrived in that because I was really good at it. Most of the time, the pressure of having to memorize and then be evaluated uh, about their mathematical strengths or, or weaknesses in this case, that was judged by this time test on multiplication facts. And that really every year comes up. Fractions is another math content area that people uh, that started to, in many cases, derail students' understandings or feelings that they were good at math. But I will tell you that what I have found in doing this work is that teachers played such a vital role in either derailing a child or bringing back, to, back that child to having a positive uh, math identity. And it only took one teacher to do it, to derail a, someone or to bring someone back and sort of help them, like show them the mirror that yes, you, you have a can do mathematics. 